the shield as well. Ooh, how we may see a potential gank in mid, but also a gank up top lane, Medic. Yeah, it looks like Humanoid just dodges out the mid. Chachi and Xerxes fighting onto Wonder here. Wonder flashes away, but the chase from Xerxes is enough. Chachi's very tanky already on the Shen. Doesn't have the flash, doesn't have the teleport either, of course, to get back into this fight. And Chachi is just going to go down. Yanko fights away the bottom lane. Rumble comes in in the mid lane as Humanoid looks for the chase. Caps jumps the wall. Xerxes gets the infernal chains, and Caps falls in mid. And Caps homes on Cobby. Once again, Caps jumps in onto Humanoid here, lands the Infernal Chains. Humanoid gets the stand united. He'll be alive for the moment. Chachi looking for the chase, waiting for that Ragnarok to part time out. Mickey here. Stun lands onto Norskarin. He doesn't have flash. But Cullen comes out as well. There is the damage from Mickey. Always to Sunday here. Managing to get away from basically everything. Xerxes on his way in as well. The Ragnarok makes you less tanky, of course, and Norskarin joins the fight. That's one down. Perfect time to, to get, get all that place. bit of gold, but here we go. We have Yankos making his way to the bottom. Side. Norskaren pops the ultimate. Yankos on his way down here, as you say. Dodges out from the death from below. Still surviving for the moment. Lands the stunner to make it. There's the stand united as well. He gets killed with the redemption. It's the bone skewer. Charges it up. Just waits for Chachi to pin himself against the wall. There's the culling as well. Chachi trying to dodge around as much as he can, but the, the death from below will spell his demise. Gap's trying to catch out this wave in the mid lane because he knows Splice want to push in. It's G2 on the top side of the map, and he jumps straight onto Cersei. Holy moly, that's a lot of damage, but the World Ender comes out just in time. Not going to get too much regeneration from that, but it does land the shot block. Playing to their game plan, and then somehow G2 just miraculously find picks, find kills, and they've done it once again. Humanoid out of position in the top lane, and G2 get their third kill in as many threat. They always do so much damage, especially the AoE. Oh, Mickey locked up and silenced the Ignite ticking. There's the shutdown. Cersei secures the kill. We could see him getting caught out once again. He's going to jump straight on him. There's a stand united. Can he survive for long enough for this Shen to arrive? Caps jumps onto the back line, lands the chains, but doesn't get the kill. Death from below comes out from Mickey. Wonder hits the long range shot, but Caps is down as well. It's a 1 4 trade at the moment. Cersei will go into the world ender. Resurrection coming out. Doesn't have the flash. Already used it. That's a great knockback. Dodges to the side. Perks on the chest. Holy! Cersei, no way! No way do you get away from this. Wonder trying to cut him off the pass. Cersei can't quite land the knockup. But now Wonder and Yankos on the wrong side of this fight. And Splice can chase them in. Norskaren jumps forward. Chachi here as well. Kobe doesn't have the ultimate, but does have a lot of damage on that victor. A double taunt. Kobe flashes across the wall as G2. Come in from the side. They're sweeping round. Norskaren knocks away Perks. Kobe already down, though. And now there's no damage left for Splice. G2 will clean this one. Up, Chachi lands just short on the taunt, pulled back. Splice get the kill, uh, G2 get the kill, and end up with the ace. Great stuff there from G2. Now the teleport comes in. Humanoid has something to say about this. The rookie mid, well out of position. TP to his own death, and Benny is, I'm gonna say. The flanking from behind, but then their decision making gets split up, and they can't actually turn it into any. The obnoxious playstyle of the 1 3 1 Ooh. means that. Splice are just being spread apart the map. And oh, Perks just opens up. Being a stellar standout member for G2. Xerxes gets the damage down with Perks. Perks still able to survive, dodging around. Just about survives at the back line. Perks eventually taken out by the death ray, but already two kills. Down for G2. They're looking for a little bit more. It's Kobe. Steps forward. It's a double for Wonder. Caps locked up underneath the tower. Jumps back. He's still alive. Chachi takes him out in the end. Wonder get a ball as well. And Chachi may be able to turn this one around because it's only Yankos and Mickey. They will retreat. And in the end, to join the fight, Miss Place might just want to disengage. Caps, look at that flank position. Jumps onto Zarsi, jumps onto Norskaren. Doesn't quite have the damage. Human on that teleport of it, but one death from below comes out. Wild Ender from Zarsi catches two on the back line. Caps has to jump away, and now Humanoid has joined the Barney. Wonder chasing off down towards this bottom side. Perks so low. Caps chased off towards the top side. Splice turn the fight around. They turn it back onto G2. Perks trying to get away, but Humanoid puts him in his place. Splice come out on top. Neck with it, and now Yankos has the flanking position. Norskaren once again gets the headbutt across. Humanoid standing as that front line. Norskaren needs to get out of here already he's down realm warp out gets two away but g2 have found the pick they wanted good utilization of the mobility there from g2 just dancing in and out of the range of splice to not allow them to engage humanoid now gets oh, picked off it takes a lot of damage to the face there the coming coming out perk stepping forward humanoid had the flash but the chase is on and perk slays humanoid Chachi now trying to run back towards his inhibitor towers but he is not tanky enough by half flashes the wall survives at the moment but mickey has the chase and perks has the their coach talked about they weren't decisive enough this is a very decisive move right now, but it might pay their down for 3,000 HP left on the bound. Mickey there in the front line, but already the bound is down. The redemption not right. enough. Cersei gets it now. Splice, can they get out alive? Already one down there. Kill Mickey. That's one kill, but Caps gets on the back line. The humanoid is dead as well. It's all on Kami to really carry this fight alongside Cersei. Perch is dodging around the side. Caps on the back. He has the flank position. What
watch him jump into this fight, you have to feel he's gonna make the big play as he goes forward. Not scaring down as well. Splice locked up in the pit. Can they get three members away? Chachi jumps away, Caps jumps forward. Lands the chain through the Umbral Trespass, but that... Splice are now being the proactive one. Three players go in, the blast down, you start knocked onto the wrong side of it, pulled back, Hobby's down, and now Yankov has a flanking position with the Predator, comes in. This is gonna be a 4v4, because Caps is not here, Humanoid are very, very low. There's the shield onto him, but a great stun. The knock-up, Mickey had a perfect phantom undertow. Chachi tries to flash the wall, but he goes face plants into it, and G2 just wipe off Splice from the map. It was Splice who tried to force the fight. They thought they'd caught out Perks, but an excellent use of the blast code converts the fight into G2's favor. They're going to take the win in what was a hard-fought battle. What a game between G2 and Splice. It looked like it could go either way for such a long time, but for one day more, G2 remain undefeated.